If I told you that the most hated man in the WWE today was an innocent young boy who had daddy issues back in 2005, you wouldn't believe me. But it's true, I'm talking about Dominic Mysterio. His journey from a light-hearted babyface to an absolute scumbag has been nothing short of a spectacle. Fans have been showering him with deafening boos, stopping him from even cutting his promos. Despite Vince Russo's suspicions of WWE piping in fake crowd noise, there's no denying that Dominic has become a figure that we love to hate. From joining the Judgment Day, trying to tarnish his dad's legacy, ruining family holidays, and even disrespecting his own mum on live television, Dominic has done it all. The climax? A well-deserved spanking from his dad at WrestleMania. In this video we're going to take a look at the transformation of Dominic Mysterio, we'll explore how and why he's become the most hated man in the WWE and break down what makes his gimmick work so well and make sure you let me know your thoughts on Dominic in the comment section. One kick to the balls changed Dominic Mysterio's destiny forever. The story starts in summer of 2022. The Mysterios found themselves in a feud with the Judgment Day. They were trying to convince Dominic to betray his dad and join the Judgment Day. They brought a strong case forward, saying it was an opportunity to step out of his father's shadow. And to be honest, looking back, they had a fair point, but obviously they couldn't convince him right away. This helped a match at SummerSlam, where the Mysterios dispatched Bala and Priest thanks to Edge, who was the founder of the Judgment Day, but he was betrayed and he'd been feuding with them ever since. With Edge in the equation, we saw the first signs of Dominic going towards the dark side. The night after SummerSlam, the Mysterios lost their tag titles to the Usos and to rub salt in the wound, Dominic took a beating from the Judgment Day and Edge rushed to the ring to make the save, but accidentally speared Dom. It's obvious that Edge was trying to help, but in typical wrestling fashion, it didn't sit well with Dominic and the following week Edge tried to make amends but Dominic wasn't in the mood for apologies and shoved Edge with Ray interfering to talk sense to his son but instead he felt that Ray was taking Edge's side. Eventually Dominic made amends with Edge but it wasn't long before we saw Dominic's soft spot for Rhea Ripley when he was confronted on Raw by her but instead of provoking him she tried to calm him down and took his kendo stick and he just let her do all of that. It was a glimpse at the future but if we're being honest up until this point Dominic had a successful run winning the tag titles but he was never good enough to win the fans over on his own. He was a generic babyface and he was given a silver spoon into the business. There was no chance that he would have made it in the WWE and his in-ring work left a lot to be desired. It was after being confused for weeks that we finally saw Dominic's true colours at Clash at the Castle. I was in the crowd having the time of my life but I have to be honest I wasn't ready for what came next. Edge and Mysterio beat the Judgment Day in a tag team match with Dominic Dominic watching from the sidelines. I won't lie, it was a decent match and it was amazing to see Edge do his thing after so many years. But after the match, Dominic celebrated with Ray and Edge. But then, one kick to the balls. And let me say this, and understand what I'm telling you. He's a no good bastard for what he did. Dominic didn't hold back. He kicked Edge in the nuts so hard that I could feel it in the crowd. Stripped of his manhood, Edge fell to his knees, holding his crown jewels. And when Ray tried to talk sense into him, he clothesline the soul out of his body. Does he have no heart? Do you have no soul, you son of a bitch? In case you didn't realise, Dominic turned heel and he had some explaining to do. The shock factor this gave us all was unreal. Never in a million years did we think Dominic Mysterio would lay out Ray in that fashion. It's one thing turning your back on a tag team partner. WWE knew exactly what they were doing. It was the perfect way to create the ultimate heel. Dominic explained how for a small man, Ray casts a big shadow and he wanted to break away from that and he officially joined the Judgment Day. Over the next few weeks, he helped them attack Ray and Edge every chance that they would get. He changed up his gimmick and adopted a new style, with his hair slicked back and his mommy, Rhea Ripley, by his side. And funnily enough, this was inspired by Eddie Guerrero's Latino Heat gimmick. I can't lie, he pulled it off well, and alongside his scummy personality, it was an all-round success. Dominic's involvement in wrestling has always had Eddie Guerrero involved somehow, so for him to adopt this character was just perfect. He continued to push Ray's buttons, but Mysterio made it clear he was not going to hit his own son. During an episode of Raw, he slapped the taste out of his mouth. He's your father for God's sake! 
He kept asking him to fight back, but nope, Ray was not going to hit his own son. Dominic took advantage of this and took things way too far, hitting Ray with a 619. He even picked up a win against AJ Styles and then claimed Eddie Guerrero was his generation's Dominic Mysterio. He knew exactly what he was doing and it continued to add fuel to the fire. He was becoming not only the most disgusting human being in the company, he was rapidly becoming the most hated man in the company. Just when you thought things couldn't get any worse, he pulled up to the Mysterios for Thanksgiving with Rhea Ripley, but he wasn't there for turkey and roast potatoes, he came for some shenanigans. Obviously he and Rhea didn't make the guest list and Ray closed the door on them, but Rhea burst it open and Dominic went to town on Ray and beat the crap out of his own dad in his house. You son of a bitch! Luckily, he escaped before the authorities could get there, but he wouldn't be so lucky the next time he tried to disrupt the holidays. So, it was Christmas, and Dominic came to collect his presents, giving his gramps a hug on the way in. But again, he didn't make the guest list, and Ray told them to get out, which they did. But things started to get tense, and Dominic shoved Ray, with his mum ready to deliver a whooping that he deserved. But Rhea stepped in, only to be on the receiving end of a slap. Luckily for the Mysterios, the police showed up to put Dom in cuffs. This scene was absolutely hilarious and it did wonders for his character. Dom used this situation to build his gimmick in the coming weeks. These segments gave us some much needed entertainment and there was something different. The big thing here is long term storytelling. Dominic didn't get to his position overnight. The heat he's generated for himself comes from months of frustration with the way he's treated the man who brought him into this world. But adding to that, it didn't help that Ray was one of the biggest names to step in the ring also. Fresh out of prison, he took on the title of Ex-Con Dom and it was his standout gimmick during his whole WWE run. Despite saying to Ripley that he wouldn't make it in jail, he became a tough guy and made everyone know about his time in the juvie. Fresh out of prison, he was a guest on Miss TV and waffled about his time in prison, saying he didn't know when his next meal would be and how he slapped the fear of God into his cellmate. What made this segment so good was that you could hear the uncertainty in his voice. He knew he was chatting out of his ass, but it didn't stop him. His delusional character comes across well though and it actually made him quite likeable. The Miz interrupted, revealing that Dom had only spent a couple of hours in county jail. The jig was up and he was exposed. But this still didn't stop him and it only furthered his character development. This gimmick was inspired by Steve Carell's prison Mike character from The Office and it honestly was such a good call. It's worked perfectly so far and has really given Dom a chance to have the spotlight. He's finally developed a character that works for him and it can only get better. The storyline between Ray and Dominic has played out ever since Clash at the Castle and WWE decided to play the long game just to give Dom time to develop his character. The tension between them just kept escalating. Ex-Con Dom was let loose and was causing havoc on Raw, whilst Ray decided to step away and asked Triple H to draft him to SmackDown. This didn't stop Dom though, who kept poking the bear. He made his entrance at the Royal Rumble, wearing his dad's mask and then ripped it apart, disrespecting the legacy of the Luchadors and adding to the heat he was generating. His degeneracy didn't stop there and on Valentine's Day he ruined Ray and Angie's dinner by taking taking their restaurant reservation, but we had a slight hint that Mysterio had enough of Dom and when it came time to pay the bill, Dominic was told he was no longer an authorised user on the Mysterio tab. So then he decided to pay the bill, but his card declined and then we got to see more of his gimmick unfold, with Rhea Ripley acting as his mommy in a relationship sense. She was actually acting like his mum. She had to pay the bill for him because he couldn't actually pay for himself. Over the next few weeks, Dom made appearances on Smackdown to mock Mysterio, calling him a deadbeat dad and how he was never around during his childhood. Again, he tore up the Mysterio mask and he also kept asking Ray to attack him every chance he would get. But when Mysterio wouldn't oblige, he would hit him with a cheap shot. It was later announced that Ray was going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame and he addressed it to the fans on Raw. But obviously, Dominic had to come out and bring out the insults. He issued a challenge though at WrestleMania and yep, you guessed it, Ray is not going to hit his own son. 
you knew things had to be settled at WrestleMania and Dominic had to reach to an all-time low to make sure he wasn't sat on the sidelines for the biggest show of the year. Desperation mode kicked in and after learning that the Mysterios were going to be on Smackdown, he decided to make his way over to the show. It was very much sour grapes at this point with his family. They blocked his number and kicked him out of the group chat. What a spoiled brat. It wasn't a good enough explanation for what he was going to do next honestly. To become the ultimate heel, you need to stoop down to a level that nobody else will. Up until this point, it's safe to say Dominic has done just that, but it wasn't enough. Don't bring your mum into the feud for God's sake. This brought the heat on him like you wouldn't believe, calling her a deadbeat mum and then screaming at her to shut up. Oh, please slap the taste out of his mouth. It was the last straw and Ray snapped, giving him a beautiful haymaker and Michael Cole popped like a kid in a candy shop and Dominic got his wish, making himself the ultimate heel in the process and setting up one of the most iconic matches he'll have in his entire career. His entrance at WrestleMania was a coming together of the character he built for himself throughout his heel run. Ex-con Dom entered the arena in handcuffs with a Judgment Day inspired Rey Mysterio mask with the entire arena booing him like hell. With it being Mysterio's Hall of Fame weekend, he had to pick up the win. And when you think about it, this could have been the fairy tale ending to his career. Winning every accolade, then winning the tag titles with your son, being inducted to the Hall of Fame, and then the night after wrestling Dominic. There was no clear way for him to go out. But he's got more left in the tank, and I'm not going to complain about that. As for the match, you had the Judgment Day shenanigans, but the LWO saw them off. Eventually, Dominic tried to sneak in a steel chain when the referee was distracted, but Bad Bunny came from ringside to snatch it away. Ray capitalised and used this opportunity to set up the 619 and that paved the way for his win. To finish off, Dominic's transformation from Rey Mysterio's innocent son to the most hated man in the WWE is a compliment to the dedication Triple H has shown to organic character development and long term storytelling. His journey has not only kept us engaged but also generated massive heat for him, leading to his overrun segment on Monday Night Raw, making the show end prematurely due to the unbelievable believable crowd reaction. In recent times, wrestlers were booed due to bad booking decisions, but with Dominic, WWE seems to have cracked the code. His rise is similar to the success of the bloodline. It's all about long-term storytelling. As Dominic continues to break away from the Mysterio feud, we can only hope that WWE continues with his momentum. His story is a reminder that genuine heat is still possible in wrestling, and when done right, it can lead to some of the most compelling narratives in the industry. What do you think about his journey? Do you believe he is the most hated man in the WWE today. Let me know in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to stay tuned for more wrestling content right here on Wrestling Reel.